Mark Gilman, along with Western Oregon defensive end Gavin Drake. Gavin, uh, glad to have you here uh, with this interview. And I know that uh, at the beginning of the year, high hopes, preseason All-American uh, aspirations, and a good year, and then what every player hates, an injury. Uh, talk about that uh, injury during uh, Game 4 against Simon Frazier. Um, game 4 against Simon Frazier, uh, I tweaked my knee a little bit. Um, it was a freak freak play, you know, one of those things you can't really plan for. Um, and that was it was tough getting back, but fortunately I was able to come back in three weeks. And our training staff here is, is great, as you know, Curtis Kidd. Um, and I'm happy to be back now. Well, what was the extent of that injury in your knee? Um, well, I had torn my MCL and had a bone bruise in my knee. And... Um, yeah, I just rehabbed it really hard, and it's not going to happen again. So, <laughs> feels good now. And the success you'd had early, I, I know it's, it's tough coming back, but the, it had to feel pretty good that uh, uh, that you were bolstered by the guys that uh, kind of stepped in there. And it's made for a stronger unit up front uh, to, to add on to the strength that you already provided that position. Yeah, definitely. I think it speaks a lot to uh, the depth on our D line. And um, our guys' ability to, you know, fight through some adversity and come together, and it's made us stronger now. And um, can't say enough about the guys. You know, it really came through. Now the team, you know, uh, had that five-game winning streak, and uh, after a rough start, and and, and things are pretty positive, and still an opportunity here for for a GNAC title, at least a share of it here. Is that is that something that you kind of uh, work off of each and every practice? Um, definitely. You know, that's our uh, that's our first goal is is winning a GNAC title, and luckily that's uh, still within our own destiny, and. Um, People got to remember, you know, w the season's a it's a marathon, not a sprint, and so every day we try and come out and, and just work and get better and not get too high and not get too low. I know you're uh, working on and uh, uh, going to be uh, essentially done completing getting your general psychology degree, but I'm also aware that uh, you, you'd like to extend uh, your football playing career beyond uh, campus here in Monmouth. Well, definitely. If an opportunity presents itself, I'm I'm gonna be all over that. Um, just gonna, you know, keep working out as hard as I can, and and uh, if I get an opportunity, try and make the most of it. Now, I, I've talked to quite a few folks here who who really have been impressed uh, by your new strength coach as well for this first season. It seems like uh, that's been a common theme that 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 has helped a lot of people's games uh, here this season. Oh, definitely. Corey Metzger is uh, the best at what she does. It's uh, It's been great. It's been great for our university and all our teams here. And um, I think it's definitely paid off this season. Um, for our team in particular, we're just we're in better condition and we were stronger. And uh, it's great having her here. She really knows what she's doing. And it certainly has helped some things out. Now, uh, heading down the home stretch here, uh, uh, what what uh, what kind of things are, are you as uh, teammates uh, doing here to to bolster each other, pump each other up as you get uh, w with this potential run uh, uh, to the end here for a, a title still in your sights? Well, I mean, we got to keep our goal in sights, and uh, and that really that pumps us up that we that's still within our own destiny and. Uh, we just go out there and we try and compete at practice, which helps a lot. A lot of competition, and uh, it's it's fun playing good opponents and Central and Humboldt. They're quality opponents, and we're we're pretty excited to play now. I was going to say that even the conference as a whole, and I know you you've been here for several years, so maybe you can attest to this fact. This conference is getting better each and every year, and adding Azusa to the mix uh, certainly has helped in that regard as well. Yes, the conference is growing. Um, it's been getting stronger and stronger, and um, teams are getting better. <laughs> uh, that, that makes your job a little bit harder, though, but uh, I, I, I don't uh, see you uh, backing down. Oh, uh, It's a little bit harder, but it's, uh, it's a lot more fun at the same time because you want to play against good competition. You know, you want to play against the best people you can, and um, with our conference growing and the quality of the teams increasing every year, it's... It's been really fun, the competition. <laughs> now, this last question, this is one of those uh, that they'd say, 
you save this for somebody's obituary, but this is the end of your, you know, you're, you're wrapping up your career, maybe my last opportunity to interview you. How do you want to be remembered as a uh, Western Oregon player here uh, for the Wolves? Um, I just want to be remembered as a guy who, uh, who gave it his all every time he stepped onto the field that you could count on to go out there and play as hard as you could every time. A guy that worked hard. That'll fit on your tombstone, that's for sure. <laughs> all right. Well, Gavin, uh, really appreciate uh, all your hard work, and I, I know everybody will attest to the fact that uh, you've got a motor that doesn't quit, and uh, good luck with the rest of the way with this uh, 2012 season. Thanks a lot.